my current project is called um, Desire Lines and Pages from the Book of Spring. It explores contemporary perceptions of female sexuality and female sexual pleasure. Um, desire Lines is an architectural term usually used to describe trampled paths that deviate from the pre-planned urban design. Similar to urban planning, in this context of female sexuality, desire lines can be considered as solutions that ingeniously navigate the terrain of social, political, and religious norms and subvert biopolitical perceptions of female sexual pleasure. In my work, I employ a combination of artistic interventions and performative drawing processes. I assemble art with electromechanical devices associated with sex, infamously known as sex toys, to create drawings reminiscent to action paintings. Action paintings were known to express the subconscious. Here the subconscious is that of this assemblage, the gadget and the artist's body, and the marks on the surface, an impression of desires arising not from a lack, but in a hope of creating new interventions. The marks look alien and machine-like. To me, they are a disintegration of heterosexual binaries, which also challenge the very materiality and functions of a sex toy. Chance is an important aspect in this work. I associate this chance to partial identities of women. After all, isn't contemporary life an experiment with newfound desires, which we recreate, regenerate, and redefine, always becoming and never arriving. It is an odd coupling, this assemblage, and its byproduct is a bastardized drawing, sort of a monstrous attempt to not confer to set boundaries, but overcross and rejoice in this illegitimate fusion of human and machine. I'm a big fan of Donna Haraway, and so I quote her from the Cyborg Manifesto. Only by being out of place could we take intense pleasure in machines and then with excuses that this was an organic activity, after all appropriate to females. Pages from the Book of Spring is a version of Desire Lines in which I fuse the abstract vibrator marks with historical erotica. In this case, the Japanese Shunga from the Edo and Meiji period in Japan. The Shunga mainly depicted heterosexual relationships and the lives of the emerging middle class during the 17th to 19th century. The ancient collection of books, scrolls and prints are filled with middle class male fantasies that acted not only as an escape from the dreariness of everyday life, but also succeeded in eroticizing and normalizing the act of sex. In my drawings, I explore different aspects of this early Eastern pornography and reinterpret its imagery through a feminine assemblage of body and machine. I incorporate these far off cultures into my work as I find the learnings interesting and stimulating. I call them half learnings, which allow me to decipher what I know from my own culture and what I acquire from a learned experience. Whilst retaining some of its historical aesthetics, I push the boundaries by using unconventional tools, mediums, and half abstract forms. The black ink vibrator marks representing female sexual desire and the body are created with the help of household implements. I use kitchen scrubbers, sponge cleaners, and bath loofah that also signify but at the same time reject feminine ideologies of domestication and the private in a very unique way. The physical body in this work does not have its usual form and structure. It eliminates its sexual signifiers and further challenges notions of the male gaze. Also, the female objectifier has now metamorphed into a female assemblage, female artist binary, purging its usual signifier. My drawings deconstruct historical ideas of eroticism, objectification and sensuality that were the foundations of the act of sex which ultimately subjugated female sexuality. Through my art, I attempt to reclaim a space 
for female sexual desires by way of the assemblaging cyborg and regenerating history from an alternative standpoint.